In this question, 150 workers were engaged to finish a job in a certain number of days, but things did not work out as planned and workers started dropping out. Four workers dropped out on second day, four workers dropped out on third day and so on. That is four, four workers continued dropping on every subsequent days. So it took eight more days to finish the work and we want to find the number of days in which work was completed. Now to solve this question, we have to understand the concept of work. Work in this context is given by number of persons working multiplied by number of days and this gives us the work in main days. Now in this question, 150 workers were engaged to finish the job in a certain number of days. So let's say that certain number of days that is the planned number of days is x. So the work will be number of persons is 150 into number of days is x. So this gives me 150 x main days. But because the workers started dropping out, the situation becomes little complicated. So we have day and number of persons working on that day. So on day one, there were 150 workers. On day two, because four workers dropped out, there were only 146 workers. On day three, again, four workers dropped out. So there were only 142 workers. And this continued for x plus 8 days. Here we are taking x plus 8 days because it took 8 more days than plan to finish the work. Now to calculate work in this situation, we have to find amount of work done on each day individually and then I'll add work on all the days to find total work done. So on day 1, 150 workers worked. So work done on day 1 will be 150 persons into number of days that is only one on second day only 146 workers worked so 146 into one day on third day 142 worked so 142 into one and so on and to find the total work i'll have to add all these works and because this lasted for x plus 8 days so there will be x plus 8 terms in this series. If I simplify this, that will be equals to 150 plus 146 plus 142 plus up to x plus 8 terms. If I look carefully at this, this looks an AP with first term 150 and common difference minus 4 and there are x plus 8 terms in this AP and I want to find some of this AP. So here I have A equals to 150, D equals to minus 4 and number of terms N equals to x plus 8. And to find the sum, I know sum is N by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So my total work will become x plus 8 by 2, 2 into 150 plus x plus 8 minus 1 into minus 4 because common difference is minus 4. This will be equals to x plus 8 by 2 into 300 minus 4 into x plus 7 equals to x plus 8 by 2 into 300 minus 4x minus 28 equals to x plus 8 divided by 2 into 
300 minus 28 will give me 272 minus 4x and I could take 2 common out of this. So, this will give me x plus 8 to 2 into 1 3 6 minus 2x and this 2 will cancel with this 2 and I can multiply these 2 to get 136x minus 2x squared plus 8 into 136 minus 16x or that will be equals to 120x minus 2x square plus 1088. Now we have work done in both the situations. In second situation when workers were dropping the work done is 120x minus 2x square plus 1088 and in first situation the work done was 150 into x and because in both the situations we are working to finish the same job so these two works should be equal so i can write 150x equals to 120x minus 2x squared plus 1088 I can bring all the terms on the left side to get 150x minus 120x plus 2x squared minus 1088 equals to 0 or I can rearrange the terms to get 2x squared this term these two will simplify and give me plus 30x minus 1088 equals to 0. Now here I can take again 2 common. So I get x squared plus 15x minus 5 4 4 equals to 0 and this 2 I can get rid of by dividing both sides with 2. So here I have to solve this quadratic equation. I can use middle term splitting. I can split this middle term to get x squared 32x minus 17x minus 544 equals to 0 or so here I get x common x plus 32 minus 17 common again x plus 32 equals to 0 or x plus 32 into x minus 17 equals to 0. So, this gives me x equals to 17 and x equals to minus 32. Now, we cannot have negative number of days. So, this answer is of no use. So, my x is 17. Now, this is the number of days that we plan for. But in the question, we are asked that how many days it took to complete the work. So, our answer will be x plus 8. So, here number of days to complete the job is x plus 8. So, our answer will be 17 plus 8 that is equals to 25 days.